The other thing is it says gives chance for others to hear. Not only hears this prayer chance and hears that prayer themselves, they also give chance for others to hear. If we do that, then they become we become free from the fruitive activities. But these three conditions must be there. Rising early in the morning, folded hands, chant and hear these prayers and make arrangements for others to hear and chant. This is what Srila Prabhupada's movement is for. This is what ISKCON, Srila Prabhupada devised this ISKCON exactly for this purpose. To give opportunities for others to make advancement, to hear and chant. And actually, when we do that, that is real Rasa Leela. Srila Prabhupada said, devotees would say, Prabhupada, you know, we are going out on book distribution and doing so many services and we are not getting time to hear and chant. We are not getting time to hear about the higher topics of the Rasa Leela and all of that. Srila Prabhupada said book distribution is Rasa Leela. Why? Because the mood of Rasa Leela is that one gopi is trying to push another gopi towards Krishna. And in book distribution, that's exactly what we do. We chant ourselves, we worship Krishna ourselves, and then we give others the opportunity by just touching a book, by just reading a word. Srila Prabhupada said their spiritual life is started. And so we are pushing them towards Krishna. We are taking a lower position and humbly going and asking, please, Koho Krishna, Bhajo Krishna, Koro Krishna Shikha. Please take Krishna's name, take this book, Koro Krishna Shikha. Educate yourself about Krishna. And when we push them, this is the mood of Rasalila. When we give chance for others to hear. And therefore, we should be very grateful and thankful to the organizers of this Bhakti Sangha Japa conference call because it's providing a platform for those who cannot, for some reason or the other, be engaged in uh, temple services because the temple is not available or, or for so many different reasons. It's giving an online platform for, for giving a chance for others to hear and chant. This is wonderful. This is according to the Shastra. This is exactly what the verse is saying. So we should come forward and volunteer ourselves as much as possible for this wonderful Bhakti Sangha. Because preaching means hospitality. And with that hospitality to transform people's lives. Preaching is not just saying words but also inspiring others with our example, with our words, with our deeds, with our helping nature, with our hospitality, everything combined, giving chance for others to hear and chant. In fact, Lord Chaitanya, Lord Nityananda, Haridas Thakur, who are our leaders of this preaching movement, who started this Sankirtan movement in Kali Yuga, they have advised us, they have set an example that they went to such an extent, risking their own lives sometimes. Lord Nityananda and Haridas Thakur were a preaching team. They would go together door to door, knock on people's doors and say, our Lord Chaitanya has asked everyone to chant. Please. You also chant and you can get the benefit. They would first glorify them. You are so wonderful. You are so scholarly. But now forget your scholarship and just chant. We are humbly requesting you. This is the mood in which Lord Nityananda Haridas Thakur. In fact, they even risked their life with Jagai and Madhai. And then later, Marke Premadai. Doyal tonai hai. Who is there? Who is more merciful? Who gets hit on the head 
मार के बट स्टिल गिव लव ऑफ गॉड दिस इज आर डियर लॉर्ड नित्यानंद दिस इज द मूड ऑफ प्रीचिंग ऑफ कोर्स इट्स नॉट लाइक वी शुड डेलिबरेटली पुट आर सेल्व इन द हार्म्स वे बट दैट इज दैट इज द मूड दैट इज द सेल्फ सेक्रीफाइस दैट वी शुड बी विलिंग फॉर जस्ट Prabhupada said to make one devotee requires gallons of blood and when what, that one devotee would leave the movement Srila Prabhupada would cry saying there is so much gallons of blood to make one devotee that devotee should not leave because of mistreatment so in this way we should give chance for others to hear and